uh, you would be aware that uh, liquid intelligent technologies um, has been doing a lot of uh, uh, connectivity, deployment of the network to ensure that each and every one of us is connected. And uh, that journey has continued, uh, even though we've had COVID all the way, but we've continued to do a lot of other things in the process of ensuring that beyond just connectivity, you also have additional services, you've got additional benefits, you are creating a lot of value from what has been established as, as your connection. So today, um, this is one of the series that we are also doing, uh, essentially looking at uh, how do we uh, accelerate um, your digital journey, the transformation uh, into that digital journey, which uh, a lot of us have already started. So this is what we call the Tech uh, Tuesday uh, campaign series that we'll be doing. Essentially looking at areas that we can be helping each other and then developing along that. So the theme for today's uh, event is uh, supercharge um, your journey into the digital transformation. I think as you can see on the screen. That's essentially the theme that you'll be uh, moving with. And with that, we are also expecting to be sharing um, a lot particularly to do with um, how do we accelerate that journey for you. That is, if you have already started it. If you have not, what is it that we need to do so that we can actually take you there? So that's essentially the focus that we'll be looking at. We do understand that uh, within the uh, different people that have attended, we are coming from diverse backgrounds. We do have our directors here, the IT managers, uh, the finance people. Um, we also have got IT uh, administrators, uh, the developers here. So it's, it's a variety of uh, uh, individuals or people that have attended uh, this function. So it's important that you be looking at where you are in that journey and then we take you through that whole journey as, as we move. Um, while uh, we are also looking at that, uh, what are some of the things that you can look forward to? We are going to talk about the different products that you can get uh, in this digital journey. Uh, where do you need to start from? And from there, how do you proceed um, as, as you move uh, forward? So those are some of the things that we'd expect uh, to get from us. But not only that, we are also going to go beyond just uh, knowing the products that we are providing and also saying what is it that we can do to assist you in that journey. So these things include uh, issues to do with the assessments that you need to do in your environment. Once we have done the assessments, we identify the solutions that you need, recommend these to your environment. Once we have recommended that, we also proceed to the implementation bit. We'll also be moving with you with that implementation uh, process. Once the implementation has been done, it's also important to have workshops along the way where we are going together in this journey and understanding any issues that may be required. Um, and then obviously to ensure that going forward, there is that continuity and sustainability. We'll also be looking at training that we can provide uh, as, as we move in that journey. So these are some of the things that will come in as liquid and then assist and, uh, and, and help you. Um, and obviously, as you are looking at today's journey, uh, the last bit that we'll have is a product demo where we are going to look at a modern workplace. What are some of the applications that you need to be using? What are some of the things that you need to know about? Uh, we also look at issues to do with your security, uh, things to do with your data loss uh, prevent prevention, uh, issues to do with data retention, um, it could be multi-factor authentication. So these are some of the things that you will see as we do our presentations uh, today and as we also interact uh, along the day. So it's really a fully packed day and uh, I'm happy that you are ready for it and uh, I wish you all the best as we move in this journey. Well, Thank you. My role today, uh, before we go in and talk about how you can transform your organizations or how you can transform your current um, services, it's just basically going to go through and give you a wind up of the current products that we currently have. We're just going to talk about um, the products that Liquid offers, in case some of you don't know those, um, and just give you a brief on that. So who we are is we're Liquid Intelligent Technologies. We rebranded re from Liquid Telecom. And uh, the main reason for this is we did notice that on top of giving clients the internet, what else can we offer them? So we have gone into a situation where we're now offering intelligent solutions. 
So anything that you have, um, most of you currently have our internet services, what else can you do on top of that internet services? So in coming up with that, we've, as, a, as an organization, we've got five data centers across Africa, three satellite hubs for those in very remote locations, and we pride ourselves as being the largest um, peering partner. Our products are split into two. We've got the connectivity solutions, cloud solutions, because that's mainly the, the presentation that's going to come through. But I'll just give you a brief of what our connectivity solutions are. We have split them up into enterprise, small business, home, satellite services, and connectivity partners or wholesalers um, in other aspects, others call them that. Our enterprise solutions, we're looking at your MPLS VPN, where you can connect different branches, You've got a branch in Harare, you've got a branch in Utare. You want people to access certain servers. Um, we offer such solutions. Um, we also then have direct internet access, which is the internet that most of you people use. We're offering that service. And we're offering that to our enterprise customers, our small businesses, and to our wholesale clients. Those, when we talk about wholesale clients, we're talking about clients that want to resell the internet services. You can come through, talk to us, we'll give you a plan, um, how much capacity you can purchase and how you can probably go about doing the sales. We're looking at small businesses, your SMEs, you, you want to get internet access, we can give you that. You have a director that's um, connecting maybe from their house or their small office, but they also want to access what's in the offices. We can give you solutions to do such um, um, things. And then we talk about your enterprises. We're talking about the banking sector, your agricultural sector, anything that you think requires a solution for it to work. Um, as long as you have the internet, we should be able to come up with a solution for you. And within these enterprises, we've noticed that some have remote locations, like out in Chipinge, or in very remote locations, you probably have a workstation that has two people, or one station that's working out in Chiatwa or one of those locations. We have certain services that we're offering on wireless. We have the satellite services to get to very remote locations. Where we can, we're actually partnering with our partners, um, such as internet services and offering microwave services. So you can get direct internet accesses with less latencies than your satellite services in most of these remote locations. If you want to find out more about that, there's a few account managers that are dotted in this room. So long as you give them the location of these places, they'll be able to give you those. And then finally, we, we have the fiber to the home and the white brand to the home. Um, this is sold through our brand, Liquid Home, for Manizor Zimbabwe, where we are providing you with internet services and internet solutions to your houses. We're no longer in a situation where people just want internet in their houses. People are developing smart home solutions where you come through to the house, you've got your Alexa systems, you've got um, lights that are connected to the internet and things like that. We are now providing such solutions. Um, and how do we provide these solutions? We've developed an in-house geeks team that is uh, managed by Abraham, who's out in the crowd here. And um, what this team is, it's, got a, it's a group of experts, um, technical experts that work within our organization. They will provide you solutions um, for, for any of those solutions, whether it's from the home end to the enterprise end. They will come through, work with you, try and see what is it that you're trying to achieve. We'll give you a solution and see how you can work through that solution. The gigs do what we call managed services for your enterprise and SME customers as well. And um, this is some of the services that we basically go through on the managed services. We've got professional support services. We've got remote call-in support. It is not, it's not all the time that we need to send somebody out to the house. They can log in remotely and be able to assist you. We've got the managed Wi-Fi services. So on top of the Wi-Fi that you have, maybe your place is too big or your organization is sitting other um, things that you want to do, you want to do a ticketing system on top of your Wi-Fi, will come through and be able to give you guidance on how you can set up that app. We have the complex solutions implementation. 
So you go through, maybe you've gone through, sent out a tender, solution has come through, but coming to implementation, the vendor that has come through has failed to implement these things. Our team will come through, look at what the product is all about, we'll go through and look at these complex solutions, um, incorporate them with our cloud team, incorporate them with the connectivity requirements that you require, we'll tell you what you need to use, and we can go through that. Uh, we're also looking at um, data centers. We've got data centers locally, um, at Eastgate and at Pockets Hill. We're offering services for those of you that uh, probably are not sure of the capabilities at their offices. You don't think maybe if power goes off, your servers will remain online. You can bring through your servers. We can also do something on the cloud servers on Azure and host um, your servers from our end. The Geeks team will be able to do all of that. Um, they're also looking at SD1 solutions and basically the overall of the managed networks. On top of the remote control, remote core support that I talked about, we actually all also will offer people to come out to your places should you require us to help you with the support. Um, then the second part of our services is cloud services. I'm just going to show you a brief of what's there. That's uh, work from anywhere, Microsoft, we're offering that, we're offering Azure. We're doing Teams Business Voice for those that want to do remote meetings. But I'm not going to talk much about that um, as we prepare for the next presenter that will be coming through. He'll guide you through most of the services that will come through. So ladies and gentlemen, just a brief of where we've come from the connectivity solutions that we always provided, they're there, they're judged up, um, and with the team that's there to back up any issues that you may have. Um, any support that you may have, I know some of you have called us, calling through IT guys who probably will not um, finish the work that they start. They start. Um, call Liquid, raise a ticket through one of your account managers, we'll send a team over to fix any of your solutions. Thank you. My, my main presentation really is to look at how liquid intelligent technology can help you on your digital transformation journey. When we look at digital transformation from a liquid perspective, we're just not saying use digital products in your day-to-day -day, uh, running of the business. Rather, we're looking at improving resilience, agility of the workforce, as well as improving your bottom line. This comes with the digital transformation through the products that we offer as liquid. So before I move into the you know the, exactly what we, we offer as, as liquid, I just want to explain um, what we call liquid C2. So C2 means liquid cloud and security, cyber security. So you might have seen in social media, some of the emails, we always talk of Liquid C2. So Liquid C2 basically, we're talking of Liquid Cloud, and li like Liquid Cyber Security. These are two brands, sub-brands of the Liquid Intelligent Technologies uh, main brand. So the reason we did this is to have a bit more focus, particularly with cyber security, where we have partnered with a lot of uh, other providers in the market, you know, companies like Netscope, uh, Cisco, Microsoft, and uh, Fortinet to actually provide solutions. And with Liquid Cloud, our focus there is mainly on platforms, uh, applications, where we're partnered with Microsoft, basically it's the main partner, but we also have AWS there, we also have Google, is some of the partners that we have on board. And to give focus to these two uh, business units, you can see that uh, we, for, for, for each business unit, we have got uh, portfolios. And uh, for the cloud portfolio, we cover networking. If you need to do Cloud Connect, Direct Connect, it's, also, it's covered there. We've got cloud, cloud Voice, looking at unified communications, with you, uh, looking at uh, one voice, which is our Teams and uh, applications, I think most of you are familiar with this. 
basically covering your 365 uh, Office applications, as well as Google Workspace, Dynamics, and um, other applications from uh, different vendors. For the platforms, I think uh, for some of you, you're already using Azure, but uh, we are also bringing awareness to the Azure stack, which is uh, Microsoft Data Center here located in Zimbabwe, looking at uh, the, the, the uh, platforms. For cyber security, we divided into cyber defense, uh, secure access as well as secure data. Just to bring a bit more focus in terms of what we concentrate on so that we are able to give you the attention and detail that you require when you are looking at your transformation journey. So in, term, in terms of positioning, the liquid C2, it utilizes our core pillar as a, as a company. Our core pillar is the network, which uh, I think uh, we're looking at about 18 countries or more now, and 100,000 kilometers of fiber. So through that network, we are able to efficiently provide both cyber security as well as cloud in all those countries. <clears throat> Just to maybe look at our core competencies in Microsoft, as I said, Microsoft is one of our key partners. As Liquid, we have heavily invested in terms of our people, in terms of the skills that we have to have to ensure that we are able to save your needs. So these are some of the board competencies that we have. And uh, I'm glad to say that this spans across, you know, SME solutions, enterprise solutions that we need to deliver into the market. So that, that's just a brief background uh, when we are talking about Liquid C2. So next time when you hear Liquid C2, just know that it's, well, it's cloud and cyber security. <clears throat> So as Liquid C2, what is it that we ask um, ourselves? What do our customers need today? What is their pain point? And you know, we managed to summarize it into you know, three unique um, issues there. So there is an issue of saving costs on remote work. Uh, remote work is now a reality because of the awakening we had through the global pandemic. But also businesses want to cut out on non-essential expenses and also deliver uh, workloads and uh, methods of ensuring that the workforce works efficiently and securely. So this is what we are trying to address as uh, Liquid C2. And uh, for us to address that, it's actually a journey that we go through as Liquid and you as the customer. So we start at the bottom there, where we do the planning. Uh, through our competencies, as I said, we are able to do assessments. And uh, there are various assessment programs. I'm going to touch a bit on that later on. Where we assess your current environment and recommend a solution which should be able to help you addressing uh, issues such as cost savings, efficiency in terms of working, and then the uh, second stage there is to migrate, uh, depending whether you are on a, using an on-premise solution, we are able to assist with the migration. So here we are just basically saying that we are not only going to just provide the licensing or the platform in terms of Azure, but we are also able to assist the service uh, through the migration of the services or products that you are running. And then uh, once you are up and running, we are all, always there to provide support. You will see that uh, later on I'll talk of some of the support plans that we offer as Liquid. But we are always there, like uh, Valerie indicated, we are able to get in touch with our account managers as well as our support teams to offer help in, in case um, you face issues when you are running the, uh, your cloud applications. And lastly, you need to evolve. Now that when you are on the cloud, what else can I do? What analytics do I need to put in place? What is there more security that I can put on my platform? How else can I reduce costs? So the evolution journey, it also leads to the start again of planning where we are going to assess again, okay, that we have this solution, 
what is it that we can do better? Because it's a continuous process of optimization. That's the good thing about cloud. You continuously optimize until you get uh, to a level that you are quite satisfied. So for, for us to deliver that, we have what we call the liquid cloud managed services. It's an extension of the general connectivity uh, managed services that we offer. But basically with these C2 managed services, we are offering assessments, workshops, uh, the implementation of the solution, consultancy services, as well as support plans. Support plans can range from Microsoft, uh, Microsoft 365, as well as Azure support, and other cloud services that you might need support from uh, Liquid. So for the customer, really, it's more like uh, you want to give an expert to handle your environment. Whilst you concentrate on what really matters for your business. And um, this will also enable you to efficiently scale up, uh, increase worker productivity, and also tap into new solutions and uh, services that you can offer within your industry. And for us, really, it's more to do with, uh, we want to increase that customer engagement. We want to walk the transformation journey together, as this will help us you know, build the relationship between us. At the same time, we're also working with uh, all those cloud providers I mentioned to build our own uh, intellectual property as liquid that uses these cloud services. Microsoft or Amazon or Google, they, they do provide, you know, the platform where we can build up. So looking at the requirements from the market, we can actually take that up and uh, offer more diverse solutions. Just a bit of detail in terms of these managed services, um, focusing specifically on uh, Microsoft, uh, mainly because you know this is where we have our most core competencies. So in terms of the assessments, we're looking at uh, your application modernization, cost uh, optimization, and again, like with cost optimization, it's a process that uh, takes time, so it's a journey that you need Liquid to be there to assist and uh, offer advice in terms of, okay, what is it that we can do to optimize our cost and probably increase our bottom line. Infrastructure assessment, this is, uh, if, you know, you know, you're looking at uh, maybe a situation where you're looking at uh, hybrid environments. We can also assess the infrastructure that we have in place and how well it can work with cloud solutions. So we are saying you don't need to get rid of your your infrastructure just because it's cloud. Cloud and on-premise infrastructure can work together to actually bring you uh, a better optimized solution. SQL, uh, virtual desktops, all those things we can provide um, uh, assessments for. And for support plans, support services, uh, this, this is where you are basically doing you know, a normal call to, to liquid get support, uh, maybe you're failing to log in to your platform or there are issues to do with security that you don't understand, something that we do through just calling uh, our support team. Implementations, again, looking at our experience internally, we have people that are well equipped to do migrations uh, for Azure, SQL, that will leave that burden to liquid and uh, you can concentrate on your business. Support plans, lastly, support plans, um, when you're looking at uh, cloud, Microsoft 365, we are differentiating it from the, you know, where if you are on a enterprise agreement, you get premium support. But normally with CSP, the way it was designed originally by Microsoft, you are just supposed to buy a subscription and that's that. We have extended further now. You can buy the subscription from Liquid, but you can also get a support plan depending on your environment. And uh, these support plans, uh, you need to inquire within, uh, internally for your, for, for your current subscription, and we can give you maybe a quotation uh, 
uh, depending on the environment that we have. Again, this uh, the, under the modern workplace, we're specifically looking at uh, your Microsoft 365 applications, where we also conduct workshops. So we can focus on a workshop for, say, Teams. How can we integrate Teams to work with your PSTN network, local number calling using Microsoft Teams, so that you can uh, efficiently uh, monitor your posts and uh, the communication and collaboration internally. Again, we we'll provide the support services for modern workplace uh, through the support teams that we just call in. And uh, for implementations, we can do full migrations, um, or even hybrid migrations, and uh, as well as SharePoint. SharePoint implementations, we are also capable of doing that. Lastly, with the support plans, same with the Azure uh, support, we also provide support plans catering for your Microsoft 365 applications. So looking at assessments, here yeah, this is just a, a bit more detail. So when you're looking at your infrastructure assessment, we're looking at what applications that are in use and how they are communicating. So this is assessing the environment that you currently have. What, what, what is the communication between this particular application to this particular application? Where is it where we can put uh, cloud to increase your efficiency? And uh, if you look at your Windows Virtual Desktop, we are looking at uh, analyzing your application estate, including your current deployment, your current usage, and the data streams and the efficiency of those, so that we can recommend solutions that can help you increase the uh, application uptime, uh, visibility, and as well as security. Your SQL databases, we can also do some assessments there. Application modernization, uh, looking at identifying and prioritizing web applications for modernization for Azure. Basically putting some of the applications that we have in-house, putting them on the cloud. So that in terms of access, you know, people can efficiently, remotely and securely access those applications. We can also then be freeing up space resources internally whilst we utilize the cloud. Lastly, cost optimization. A good thing about cost optimization, um, it's, it's, it's done before you move to the cloud. You are actually able to get an assessment that says, okay, if you migrate your services to the cloud, you are able to save 30% on your current uh, CAPEX or OPEX expenditure for, for, for your IT all your applications, all the infrastructure that you have. So this is done before you even sign up for, for cloud. You're able to visualize, visualize how much you're going to be saving. So in some cases, as customers, you might, before you embark on a digital transformation journey, you might want to really understand in depth how particular solutions can assist you. So as Liquid uh, 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 C2, we offer workshops as well as proof of value, uh, uh, you know, for, for all the solutions that we have. So I'm able to assess right now that, okay, I want Teams integrated with PSTM. Can you please show me how exactly it works? Can you please show me what is done in the back end? I'm the IT administrator. I need to understand, okay, is my data protected? Is my data being delivered efficiently? We can provide you with workshops for those. Just a bit of uh, depth in terms of the implementations. Email migration. I think this one is quite basic. We are looking at your migration either you're migrating from an on-premise exchange server or whether it's an INAC server that is hosting your emails. We can do that implementation as well and, uh, and uh, migrate to the cloud. We can also do cloud to cloud, that is from Google to Microsoft. It's an implementation that we can do. Uh, SharePoint migration, uh, I think I have emphasized this. It's quite uh, something 
that most companies are slowly adapting to so that they reduce the number of uh, servers that are available on premise by utilizing SharePoint. <clears throat> And uh, I think lastly, I talked about support plans. Support plans, we recently introduced them. Uh, this was mainly due to the request from most of our clients uh, where they did not have any support plan after they buy a subscription from Liquid. So depending uh, with the number of users that we have, uh, depending on the infrastructure that you are utilizing on Azure, we have got custom solutions, custom support plans that uh, would appeal to you. And I'll give you some, uh, a form there where you can just fill in your details so that we can discuss further if you need to know more about this. And uh, as well as all the other issues that I talked about in terms of assessments or implementations. Right, so at the end, you know, we started how can we help our customers in Liquid? So we have got six categories. Vendor license cost uh, consolidation. So looking at your current environment after you've done your assessment, we can actually consolidate whether you're using multiple cloud providers. There are chances that most of those applications, most of those services that we have, we can integrate uh, under Microsoft primarily so that you consolidate your licensing and to be able to manage your costs more efficiently. The more you buy, obviously, the better your, 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 your discounting and uh, you know, the pricing that you get. And we're also looking at reducing total costs of risk, basically by, by reducing the breaches and enhancing privacy uh, to, 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 to improve and, and improving your compliance ratings. IT admin and deployment savings. This is where we are looking now at uh, your mix between your hardware and your software. What is that? What is it that we need in terms of hardware? What is it that we are not supposed to buy in the long run in terms of hardware? Because you see that as you go through the digital transformation journey, you might not necessarily need a huge amount of savers. That infrastructure can be hosted in the cloud giving you the freedom to you know, know that, okay, the infrastructure is with someone else. And that someone else is Microsoft. It's a reputable company. They have got a lot of security measures that they put in place. And I think uh, when we do some of our demonstrations, we're just going to show you a bit in terms of what is it that uh, Microsoft offers in terms of securing and protecting your data. Physical and travel costs here, yeah, we're looking at uh, mostly for remote working. Through Microsoft Cloud, you are able to then securely have your people working remotely without the need or burden of having, you know, extra hardware or equipment or even extra licenses for software that uh, you need to secure your data. There's also some savings that you get from uh, the automation and the process improvements that you get through the adoption of some of these uh, products that we offer. And uh, CapEx to OPEX cash flow. You know, CapEx is always, uh, your CapEx, your capital expenditure, it's always quite a headache because you need to raise a lot of money to invest uh, in an asset. Whereas what we are saying is with uh, an OPEX uh, uh, model, you are paying a little bit to it's pay as you go. You are paying a little bit to utilize the same, current, uh, same services that you were previously utilizing under your on-premise environment. But you can also get more because there is more utility when you are looking at, uh, at cloud. So this is where liquid intelligent technology comes into play in your digital transformation journey. We can take you from point A to point success. So finally, uh, here, if you, if you have got a smartphone, you can use your camera to scan the code. This code will lead you to a form, a Microsoft form. If you want to, you know, have a one-on-one -on -one session, 
with representatives from Liquid. Please fill in that and then we can do a follow-up and schedule accordingly.